Linux Server Security by Aubrey Love. Hello, my name's Aubrey Love, aka Hex Viper. Now, with a background a mile long in software and web based application development, I catered my services onto companies of all sizes. I've worked with various programming languages and tools in order to build software packages, mobile applications, and even websites. I'm also an active Linux user, Linux server admin, and just an all around geek. The Course Overview What we're going to learn in this course is an introduction. We're going to learn how hackers attack your server. Moving forward, we'll learn about basic server security. Basically, just kind of learn the basics of securing your server. We're going to be moving on to maintaining your server, keeping your server updated and healthy. After that, we'll be doing advanced server security methods. Basically, we're just going to encrypt your server with some of the best open source protocols and resources on the market. After that, we're going to harden your security by jumping into action with several resources on strengthening your server's security. Shortly after that, and finally, we have server management. You need to keep your server secured and protected from viruses, memory leaks, and etc. Prerequisites. Now, obviously, you're going to need a computer. This will be your desired computer. So, whatever you're using the most, use it. We're going to be using this and setting it up in order to connect to our server for security purposes. Obviously, a server. Defeating the purpose of the server security if you don't have a server. But if you don't have one, maybe you plan on setting one up and that's all good too. Internet connection. If that wasn't a given already, you're going to need an internet connection to connect from your computer to your server. In map. Uh, we're going to be using this in order to scan our web server to see if we have any open spots. Metasploit. This is going to be used in order to test and exploit our code. So like your website code, web application code, whatever. We're going to use Metasploit to debug your code basically. Now it says Chrome, but if you could use typically any web browser you want, Chrome just happens to be the best. No, not a personal opinion. It is the best. Low Orbit Ion Cannon. Now this is what we're going to use in order to carry out a DDoS attack on our server. What? 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 Did I just say DDoS attack our server? Yes, yes I did. We're going to be using HTOP in order to, to monitor our server. Zabbix. This is a more advanced server monitoring tool we can use. Uh, Cloudflare. Uh, this is going to be a great resource we can use to deter DDoS attacks and store cache copies of the website. Let's Encrypt. This is a free automated open certificate authority. And then fail to ban. This is a firewall application that we're going to use in order to perform a variety of security tasks and measures. Clam AV. A server-based antivirus software we're going to use to scan our website and server for viruses. And then finally, Clonezilla. A software we're going to be able to use in order to back up and restore our hard drive images, provided you are using a physical server instead of a virtual server. If you're using a virtual server, don't worry, we have you covered on backing up that server file too. The steps to success. It's test server. Obviously, we need to discover some of the vulnerabilities that is hidden inside of our server. Some vulnerabilities can be something like open ports or just leaky codes. Move on to security settings. Secure and harden your server with some of the basic yet advanced techniques we can use. While still falling under the free and open source, program. And then finally, server patching. Don't reboot, just patch. Oh, yeah, I love that song. It's a little nerd cliche song. Basically, we're going to discover how to provide updates on the fly. All the best people in life seem to like Linux. Steve Wozniak. Yes, Steve is an Apple person. Yes, he is. And it is without a reasonable doubt, too. It is free, easy to use, and a simple gateway to handle the functions we need done.